Absolutely delighted now to be joined by Christina Marchetti and Jean-Michel Raymond from Physical Review X. First of all, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us. I appreciate that. So let's kick off. Let's give me a little bit of an insight, a little bit of an overview, if you will, on Physical Review X. What is it? Well, so let me first of all say that uh, you know, both Jean-Michel and I are, are really excited and honored to have the opportunity to serve the community in this leadership role. And uh, this is a fairly young journal, as you know. It has been around only five years. And actually, in these five years, it has seen a remarkable growth in uh, stature and impact in the community. And this has really been due to the work of the first uh, lead editor, which was Jorge Pulling, but also to really the amazingly dedicated work of the staff editors that reside at the, at the APS. Uh, this has been, it's been really, really impressive. So, yeah, and, and to present the, the, the journal in, in, a, in a few key words, it, it's a small-scale publication. We typically publish 200, 250 papers a year. That we don't aim to, to grow that much. Uh, it's for very influential, very pivotal papers in physics that we try to identify through a rather severe but interactive selection process. Uh, it's an, it has no size limit, which I think is important because it's only published open access on the web, so we don't need paper, and it means that the authors can take time to really explain their findings which is particularly important, all the more so when the findings are really new. How important is it that it's uh, open access? I think it's pretty important. Uh, of course, most institutions in the world, in physics institutions, subscribe to the APS journal. So for the professional physicists, perhaps the difference is, is not that. But first, uh, there is a very strong incentive from the funding agencies to publish more and more in open access journals. And certainly PIX is the first step of the APS towards that. And then I think it's also important because, as Christina very rightly said, we would like to attract papers which are a bit out, outside the mainstream of physics, which make connections with other fields, which make connections with other concepts. And for those who are interested in this concept, they might not have a subscription to, to APS at large. And finally, I think it's important for the students, for the undergrad students, most probably, who cannot inter access the APS through uh, publications, through an institutional thing. Final question then, uh, is what's your vision for the future of the journal? Where do you want to take it? Well, firstly, we want to continue <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the kind of growth in impact and visibility that has sure. been very quick and as well in quality, as a matter of fact. So we do not expect uh, or plan to make the journal a lot bigger in terms of number of papers published than, than it is now. And we really expect to try to maintain the, um, you know, the, the, the high quality of the paper. Um, the other thing that's really important that we wish to continue, in spite of the increase of the number of publications, is this really highly interactive and personalized review mode that the journalists had. The editors actually have a lot of back and forth with reviewers and with authors. And I think that has been very well accepted and taken by, by the community. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.